Challenged by peer forces, non-state actors and terror groups, modern armies must evolve, adapt, embrace new technologies and modernize existing equipment to dominate the modern hybrid battle space. Eurosatory, the world's largest defense technology event, is the hub for such innovation, especially the Israeli pavilion that hosts 52 of Israel's leading defense companies. Hybrid warfare demands a balanced approach to planning and execution, emphasizing integration of infantry, armor, support and logistics at the tactical echelons, networked under effective command, control and intelligence. This approach comes to effect in urban warfare, where maneuverability and firepower are performed with utmost effectiveness and precision. The warfighters may be assisted by smart sights and precision-guided munitions to achieve the necessary effects. Smarts and logics are also embedded in robotic systems to assist the human in dangerous tasks, such as surveillance and recon of interiors and mazes of underground tunnels. All that equipment requires ergonomic carrying devices to enable the soldiers maintaining full capability while carrying the combat gear. Robotic systems of different sizes and types are used in numerous missions. To ease the load, the military recruits robotic mules to transport the gear of the infantry squad and support the unit in combat. Combat vehicles and dedicated robotic platforms are being equipped with remote controls, autonomous driving systems, sensors and weapons to carry out unmanned combat missions. Through the modernization of its forces, the IDF has acquired Merkava and Namer AFVs for its heavy forces and began the acquisition of the Eitan, a highly agile and protective 8x8 wheeled vehicle that will replace the obsolete M113s in the elite infantry brigades. The IDF also explores new concepts for the future under the Carmel program. Many of the technologies implemented in the Merkava, Namer, Eitan and Carmel are on display at the Eurosatory exhibition. Several Israeli armored vehicle manufacturers showcase new designs at Eurosatory, with high ballistic and mine protection becoming a must. The demand for ultralight weight protection is also raised, supporting border patrols and special operations. Fire support for the tactical units is provided by mortars that are designed to mount and fire from light vehicles, thus following close to the combat forces. When precision effects are called for, guided missiles enable the forces to engage targets with the utmost precision from tens of kilometers away. At Eurosatory, several companies are demonstrating new approaches to deliver capabilities to the tactical level. Larger drones sustain combat units with continuous logistical support, without risking ground movement in hostile terrain. Developers also harnessed autonomous and unmanned vehicle technologies to create loitering weapons. These systems act like any other drone in the surveillance mode of their mission. At the flip of a switch, the drone is turned into a missile that carries its explosive warhead to hit a target viewed in the site. As advanced as drones and robots are, they are highly vulnerable to countermeasures. Such counter UAV systems are used by security and military forces at all echelons and employ different sensors and effectors to detect, disrupt and kill enemy drones. You are invited to experience these capabilities and many more at Israel's National Pavilion at Eurosatory 2018. See you on the stands.